I recently attended an EV charging event in Cleveland. If you want to know more about Charon, check out my earlier video. In this video, I want to talk about Lincoln Electric, the host of the Testival event, and their new product line of EV chargers. Before I hand the mic over to Lincoln Electric, I wanted to tell you something about Cleveland. Back at the turn of the century, car companies were all over this country, not just in Detroit and they were competing with different powertrain types, gasoline combustion, steam-powered, and battery electrics. Cleveland was home to not one, but two prominent EV manufacturers. Roush & Lang was one. I'll put a link to this website, which documents their history really well. Baker Electric was the other. Here's a photo of some of their early electric cars in front of their sales office, and here's that office today. Cool, huh? It wasn't hard to find. The, the sign pretty much gives it away. I'll put a link to a different website that documents that building really well. Speaking of electric motors, Lincoln Electric was founded around that same time, first making DC electric motors, then producing the first variable voltage arc welder, and they've been a leader in electric welding ever since. I recently did a rust repair on my Jeep with a Lincoln electric welder, and despite zero welding skills, it, it pretty much worked. I'm done talking now. Let's hear what Lincoln Electric has to say yeah, about fine, their fine. venture into EV charging. Yeah. So I'm Steve Sumner, I'm the Vice President of Corporate Innovation here at Lincoln Electric, and I'm leading our EV charging initiative, which we're happy to do a ribbon cutting and open today, as well as participate in the Char and Testable with our Velian 150 kilowatt charger. So, so here in Cleveland, Ohio, we manufacture everything in the charger behind me. It is more than 75% domestic content. So the advantage, the native advantage of Lincoln as a company is that we manufacture everything in the charger. We start at the board level. So the only thing we purchase are chips, electronic components, board, PC board blanks, everything else we basically make ourselves. And it's made in the building behind me. So it is already, again, more than 75% domestic content. We are the world's largest welding company. So coming from that environment, 50 years of just making industrial inverters that happen to be welders have given us a, a core base of competencies and a kind of design sense to make products that are very reliable, very robust for outdoor applications. The design is a separate power tower and pedestal arrangement. Um, we think that's probably the most flexible long term. So the pedestal itself is a very straightforward, we call it utilitarian design, very rugged and robust. The, the vault is the center part. Uh, it is a sealed unit that contains some basic electronics, the charge controller, a couple uh, uh, cellular routers, and the HMI screen. The vault actually can move up and down on the pole based on the configuration, whether it's mounted on a curb or whether it's mounted on a flat to maintain ADA compliance, which is a NEVI uh, requirement for federal funding. Um, but it's a very straightforward design. Basic touch screen with redundant buttons. So even if the touch screen were to have a problem, you can complete all charging sessions via the, the buttons for, for redundancy of operation. Um, a nice IP68 tap to tap device either for payment or for just identification, um, if it's a fleet uh, I I example. Uh, the, the covered um, plug holder um, also has a proximity sensor in it, uh, which is here, so it senses the collar, so we know whether the uh, user has put the cable back. Uh, that's to help message to the user that your charging session's not over if you don't put the cable back to prevent it from laying on the ground, get run over by the vehicle, et cetera. Uh, very simple cable uh, system, uh, only because we felt it was the most robust. Long-term cable management systems, other things like that, are probably in the offering, but we just wanted something very straightforward, very rugged, very simple. Um, the power tower itself, which is over here, uh, is a 150 kilowatt power tower. There are three 50 kilowatt modules inside. The difference in a Lincoln charger versus others is that our charger is 100% digital. So when you open up the door, you will see very, very few connections. Um, it's uh, very clean, simple, and robust. And our, our goal in designing that way, like we do with our welding products, is very high field reliability in an outdoor setting. 
the, the, the beautiful thing about the, the Charin program and, and uh, uh, mission uh, in, in these testivals is to bring as many vehicles and charging uh, stations together uh, in, a, in a short period of time for interoperability testing. So the most frustrating thing for an EV user is they pull up to a charger, it says it's available, you plug in and nothing happens. And typically that's because there's some communication issue between the vehicle and the charger. So this uh, environment in the testable is all about ensuring interoperability between different types of vehicles, um, the different models, and the various chargers. So every hour and a half, we swap uh, vehicles uh, and, 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 and test. Thank you, Steve, for the overview of your new hardware and congratulations. Wishing Lincoln Electric much success with their Made in America EVSE. Thanks to them and Charin for putting on this event. And thank you for watching till the end of this video.